let's just get straight into it. These guys got it good. I mean, these youngsters nowadays, they got it good. And I don't mean, listen, I'm not talking about their living arrangements, their living situations. Sure, they get to stay home a little longer than we did. They get to <clears throat> a little bit more. They get to get off the porch. They get to go down the street, play whatever they want to do, come home when they want to, all that stuff. But I just mean, like, really, in general, they got it so much better than what we had. And let me elaborate a little bit. If you wore a white shirt where I lived and everyone else wore black shirts, you were considered a weirdo. As a matter of fact, that's what they would call you. Man... I don't remember nobody putting on pink as no man, as no boy when they was young. I don't care what you liked or what you didn't like. It just didn't happen. Matter of fact, I don't remember people wearing color. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody wore dark colors and stuff when I was coming up. And now these kids have the ability to see something, like it, and just wear it. Hell, if they want to wear flip-flops to work, they can wear flip-flops to work. They do that. I've seen it. They got it good, man. Like, they got it good. I remember we grew up eating certain things, and that's just what it was. Like, I remember a good dish was mashed potatoes, corn, and pork chops. You know what I mean? Like, that was it. I don't eat pork now, but... That was it growing up. Like, that was like, shh, top of the line. Any type of steak. We didn't know what steak was, man. These kids now, they eat, they know what a ribeye is. They know filet mignon. I ain't know no filet mignon. You know what I mean? Hell, they even, I, I even, <laughs> when it came to birthday cakes coming up, we didn't get to say what kind of birthday cake we want. They just made it. You know what I mean? That's just how life was for us. And I mean, like, even, even, even this, like, you ask people in my generation how many birthday parties they had. And, like, if you had three of them in your lifetime, that was, like, a big damn deal. You know what I mean? These kids now, man, they have a party every year for their birthday. Like, somehow, some way, they getting it in. And I mean, we're not talking 18. We're talking, like, from youth to, like. 20 something years old they still partying hard like on their birthday it is crazy you know they got it good they do and um that's something we all realize right we all realize how good they got it we all look at them and we say dang man they just don't know how lucky they are but i think in my in my in my opinion i think it's a good time for us to look learn and say it's okay for us to change too, right? Because the time, I seen this post on Facebook, it said, your parents raised you to survive in a world that doesn't exist anymore. And yeah, you know, we all know things still happen. We all know. But we didn't have what they have with the internet and with, you know, television and all that stuff. Like, I don't think these kids know what it's like not to have cable. You know, they they got Netflix. Netflix is like the equivalent to cable. A lot of us didn't have cable. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. We didn't have YouTube. And we would never be considered a weirdo if we were around people like us. Like, So if you like purple shirts now, they can go online and find a group of people that like purple shirts. And they just hang out with those folks. Which is totally awesome. You know, and I think... Something that I've learned to do and I want to share with you guys is looking at them saying how lucky they are, but realizing that you can be that lucky too now. Like we don't have to be youngsters to change how we dress. We don't have to like they do things like they don't care, right? They don't care what your opinion is about the jeans they got on or this jacket they got on or how their hairstyle is. What if you didn't for a weekend? Who cares? Like, what if you adapted that and said, you know what? I don't care. I want to be lucky, too. You know what I mean? I want, 
you know, I want to find me a group of friends that do this. And I know it's hard because we can't get out of that box. You know, we get stuck in a certain way. We were we were grinding like all we wanted to do our generations is to get a job. We couldn't wait to get to that age where we could get a job. Where's this generation, man? <laughs> I remember I had an intern once, right? And I was at this, you know, I'm a federal government, you know, worker. And I was talking to the intern. I'm like, bro, give me your resume and all that. You know, they were an intern. And I was like, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure you get in here full time, right? You know what this dude told me? He said, I'm not sure I really want to work here, but I do appreciate it. Something to that extent. Like, and I was shocked. I'm like, what? And he 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 wanted to go visit Japan first. And he had all this other stuff he wanted to explore before, you know, he started working all hard and stuff. Whereas us, you know, I was confused. I'm like, wait, we just wanted a job. We didn't give it where it was. We would open up the paper. If it said help wanted, we applied. We didn't care if it was the, you know, working at the meat shop, mowing the yard. We didn't have the opportunity to say, you know what, I want to do this. You know, of course we had dreams growing up. Of course we did. And nine times out of ten, all of us is up there and we done accomplished what we were trying to accomplish. Even if those goals and dreams changed, we still got to where we wanted to get. But now I look around and I don't know about you, but I look around and I say, well, now that I did it, what's next? Like, this is boring. You know what I mean? So I think we can learn something from these guys. Like, we can look at these folks and the next time you see somebody and say they don't know how lucky they are. Or they don't know how lucky they have it. I want you to think about changing yourself and letting yourself and just letting your guard down. And I'm not telling you to do it in front of anybody. But taking care of yourself and, 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 and learning yourself and understanding that. You can't be the same person you were yesterday. And whether these are your kids or someone else's kids, they're still all of our kids coming up. They are, you know, what you worked hard for. and You've seen things are different. You changed things somewhere along the line, and now these kids are coming up this way. You know what I mean? So try it out. I bought some shoes that are yellow. I couldn't believe it. Like, I put them on. I bought them. And, you know, I never had no yellow shoes. You know, I used to think about it as a kid having a yellow car. You know, I just thought that was so cool. So I bought these yellow shoes and I ain't going to lie to you. I wore them out. Went to a place called Whole Foods on 8th Street in D.C. I walk in the store. This dude looks at me and he says, yo, are those off-whites? And I said, yeah, they is, man. You know, I just seen them online. There's a yellow shoe. I thought it was pretty cool. He's like, yo. Them is dope. And now, <laughs> this is a young dude. So I'm looking like, whoa, okay. My stuff is dope. Okay, word up. Thank you. I appreciate it. But my point is, even if you change the way you are, because I would say 10 out of 10 of us don't have a whole bunch of friends no more, right? You get to 30 something, especially if you start with a family. Or even if you don't, if you were like me and waited late, you know, you were just trying to get your professional life together. And then you notice the more you were making, the more unrelatable you were to people that were around you. And it just made things uncomfortable because you'd have to dial back. So you probably changed the people that were around you. I think that, you know, it's okay to let the guard down and try something different. You know, I challenge you to do that. You know what I mean? Try a new favorite color. Try going to the store and not going to a certain area. You know what? Even, even more, because this is the funny thing. We all think we wear a certain size, right? Like, I always thought I wore, like, a 2X shirt. You know, I got a little build to me. I put on a 2X. Come to find out, you know, the way the style is now with a T-shirt, they say I wear a large now. It's so daggone tight, it's uncomfortable. Right? It's uncomfortable. But... I looked at myself in the mirror and I'm like, damn, I do look fly in this shirt. It's tight as hell, but <laughs> I do look fly in there. You know what I mean? I got to suck in the gut, <laughs> suck in the gut a little bit, but you know, I do look fly in it. But you know, that's my point is I got the yellow shoes. I got these, you know, shirts and a lot of time I can't put a large one. I ain't going to lie to you. Probably an extra large, but 
my point is I'm learning the new me. It has made life so much more enjoyable learning me. You know, I'm not spending time chasing anything. I'm not spending time trying to fit in anywhere. Um, you know, thanks to a cousin of mine, uh, a cousin that, you know, recently passed the lowest, you know, she had told me that, <clears throat> you know, you don't really need to care about what family thinks or anything, you know, you just take care of you, you know what I'm saying? And I think that once I started looking at myself and saying, you know what, it's okay to try this and try that things that I'd never thought I would like. You know, because coming up, I didn't like, like, parades and stuff like that. Now, I'll see one, get out the car and check it out. I hated festivals coming up as a kid, you know what I mean? Going now, if it wasn't coronavirus going on, I would, you know, I used to go out to D.C. and I would go to the festivals, try different foods and stuff like that. But remember to make yourself first, you know what I mean? Learn yourself because you're always growing. And if you're not growing, you're doing what? You are dying. Because you can only do two, one or two things. Either growing or you're dying. So if you're not changing, developing, and growing into something else. If you feel yourself feeling like you are dying. You're just sitting there stagnant. Just space on earth. Try something different. Go to places like Open Table. Look up a new restaurant. I know we can't go out to eat. But find something new to go out and try. Some new food. You may not like it. Look it up online before you try it. You know, you go pick it up. Um, watch a movie that you wouldn't normally watch. You know, I'm a huge action movie guy. Now, my wife got me watching these daggone dramas. I watch all these daggone, what is it called? Love After Lockup. Man, let me tell you. And the, the uh, what's it called? The the Family Chantel. Man, damn, Pedro a trip. But um, now I'm watching these things and I never was into that stuff. Never. You couldn't get me to sit down and watch what I would consider a chick flick. That's what we called them coming up. You know what I mean? But the reason I tell you this is because even though we have all this stuff going on with coronavirus and we got all this crazy stuff going on in the world, presidential stuff and all that, we might be standing still. We might be inside. We might be taking it easy. But guess what? Time isn't. Time is still moving forward at the same speed it has always been. And the only difference is when you get out there and you try to move after all this has happened, you might find that your body is moving a little slower than what it used to. So learn these things. Enjoy yourself. Get out, do yourself some exercises, some jumping jacks, some, you know, just get on the floor. Just sit down on the floor. Lay on the floor. See what that's like. Get up from the floor. You know, try some different foods. If you don't like cooking, try cooking something else. Try getting some new uh, air fryers on just to try it. Shoot, you can take it back to Wiley World. Don't tell them I said you was going to bring it back. Try it out. But it's just important that we take care of our mental health and our self-health. You know what I mean? Enjoy you. Enjoy life. And enjoy fitness in that order. I'm Rufus Patterson, but you may know me as Bear. You dig?